Hey guys, it's Neyman and welcome to another review episode of this brand new backpack by PGI Tech. It's called One Mo Backpack and it's basically meant for photographers, but you can use it as a travel backpack too. I will show you that a little bit later. So just a little bit disclaimer, a few weeks ago PGI Tech reached out to me and asked me if I want to do a review of this brand new backpack. I said yes and this is not a sponsored video, this is not a paid video, so everything that I say today it's my own opinion based on uh, few weeks testing this really cool backpack. So let's start with the build quality. This backpack is primarily made out of the polyester materials and they state that it's waterproof, scratch proof and wear proof material so that's really awesome for sure it's water resistant material and also the zippers are waterproof too so that's really awesome because you don't need to worry about rain getting inside through the zippers and uh, it has anti theft zippers that mean that Zippers has a small ring right here that you are putting the zipper through and uh, the potential thief will have more trouble to unzip this or if you want to be even more secure you can go and uh, put it through twice and then you're really secure. So that's really awesome and also if it's heavy rain weather you have a rain cover it's down here in this compartment so you just need to take it out and put it on the bag and you are completely ready to go on the rainy weather conditions. Also this backpack has three different handles if you want to carry it in your hand. So one is at the top right here, you can see it from the back side, regular handle. Another one is from the back side if you want to carry it like this or if you want to put it in a roll-on baggage. So just slip it through this and you can just carry it with, with your roll-on. And the third one is on this side right here so you can carry it like this. Also this is now fully loaded bag, it's a little bit heavy and one really cool thing about this bag is that it can really actually stand straight like this because a lot of uh, camera bags like to fall on this or this side but this one doesn't want to fall so like this or like this if you put it on the ground but this one will stand straight up really cool. Then we have shoulder straps on the back side and they're really comfortable with the breathing materials both on the shoulder straps and on the back of the bag which is really important because uh, you want the air to flow through this to breathe to your body breathe a little bit better etc and also they're really comfortable if you're heavy load the bag if you have a lot of uh, equipment inside if your bag is heavy you really want to have comfortable shoulder straps that's really important and also guys if I put it here you have another addition if you want to reduce a little bit weight from the shoulders and backs you have this thing right here and you're feeling much better because it's a little bit more towards the, the chest and it's much easier for carrying. Also guys on the back side we have a small rain cover because it needs to cover these two compartments. They're really deep nice compartments and inside we have some additional equipment I will show you later. Why is that for? You can see these things, these things, but you can put inside whatever you want, it's really cool and then cover it with this rain cover and uh, you're safe if there is a raining day etc. The shoulder straps has few more functions, so for example the left one has really nice big pocket for a shoulder strap on this side and inside I like to carry my knife because if I'm going in nature to take a photo of some backgrounds etc, some landscapes, I really like to have a knife with me for multiple purposes and also you can carry whatever you want in this really nice pocket. Then the left one has really nice elastic bands and you can use it for whatever you want. For example, you're taking your camera out, uh, taking out, uh, putting off the lens cap and you can just temporarily put the lens cap here when you're having the bag on your shoulders and 
that's it. You don't need to carry it in your pockets, etc. But that's just an option. You can do with this whatever you want. On the left side, we have two pockets. The bottom pocket has a few cool things. So first, it has three smaller pockets where you can put your batteries or memory cards or whatever. And also, as you can see here, you can label it if it's full or empty. So for example, you want you have two empty batteries here and then one full battery here. So you have green and red. Really awesome thing to maintain the batteries or memory cards and to know which one are full and which one is completely empty. Also inside we have another pouch that I will show later when I open the bag. I will not go now through this. So let's close this. And the upper pocket right here is it's anti-theft zipper. So I need to be a little bit more careful. Okay, and inside I have a quick reach to my camera, which is really awesome. So I will go and show inside a little bit later. So let's show you another side. On the right side, at the top compartment, we have, as you can see, a few elastic bands, another small zipper if you want to put batteries, memory cards, I don't know, whatever. Inside also here you can put whatever you want. Really cool. And here we have like a big pocket if you want to put your bottles or tripod and if you're carrying your tripod here you can just take it with this and just make sure that tripod doesn't fall out so this is really awesome. Also on the left side I forgot to say that it has RFID pockets which is really cool if you want to put your wallet or your uh, credit cards here in this pocket and you don't need to worry about somebody wirelessly stealing the information from your car. So it's RFID safe. And that's another cool thing with this bag. And I don't know if I already said, but this is 25 liter backpack, which can be expanded up to 35 liter. I will show you that later. But now let me show you how you can get an extra, I think, 5 liters just by opening this front for compartment. So at the front here, you have few zippers. I just need to find it. it's here. Okay. And now you can just expand this for another, I think, five liters, which is really cool. And here we have like really big, really big pocket and another elastic band if you want to carry your maybe uh, gimbal here or whatever, some clothes, some shoes, I don't know, it's really big and comfortable pocket, so that's a cool addition. If you don't need it, you can just zip it and put the air out and collapse it back and you have another 25 liter bag without this front compartment. Also, as you already saw, this bag is full of small hidden compartments, so on the front side we have another pocket which is right here from left and right side and here we have two more stra straps and you can use them if you want to carry something on the front of the bag you can cross them like this and put whatever you want here on the front side too. Now let me show you what's inside. Let's go and see what's inside the bag. Okay we have a zipper on the side and we can open the back of the bag and we can reach inside. So as you can see it's a yellow color inside <laughs> full of uh, interesting compartments and let me first show you on the left side I have my camera here which I can reach from this or from back uh, the side pocket inside here I have my GoPro I have my LED lights then inside here I have more room for my blower for microphones etc so this is really nice and deep as you can see so really cool and you can put a lot of interesting things in this bag so let's put this bag down here. I have two lenses, etc. And on this side we have, as I already show you, mentioned you this additional pouch from again PGI Tech logo. Really cool. I will show you this separately, but inside here I have my drone, so I will just leave it aside. And if you don't want to carry a drone or this pouch with you, you have plenty room from whatever you want. You can put your clothes here or additional gear, some gimbal, I don't know, whatever you want. Also here on the side we have additional pocket. Also this pocket can be removable totally and put it anywhere aside. We have even more compartments here so you can just take it out completely or just arrange it however you want. So I'll just put it back because for now I don't need it. 
and uh, that's basically it. On the right side we have compartment from for a laptop, so it, it's a 15 inch laptop, really nice, safe. And this is practically it for inside. And now let me show you this additional pouch. Alright, let's put this backpack aside and let me show you what's in this small pouch or bag, if you will. So first we have really nice waterproof zipper at the top and here you can put whatever you want. So in case you're carrying a drone like me inside, you can put the spare propellers or whatever you want. Then we have inside of this small pouch and inside we have another cool pocket at the top. Here I'm holding my uh, Andy filters for drone. That's really cool. And you can put whatever you want, of course. Then inside I have remote control for the drone, spare batteries, and here you can see I have a drone itself. But in case you don't have a drone or you don't want to carry a drone, inside this you can carry it whatever you want. And you remember that I talked about some hidden compartments in this bag. Well, there is hidden compartment in this small bag too. So we have another zipper here. And if we unzip it all around, look at this. Ta da! We can extract this and make it even more space inside. And let me show you. We have then an, another zipper right here. And we have totally separate compartment with. See? And here you can put whatever you want. Maybe you want to put like a small tripod for your phone or I don't know, whatever you want. There are plenty of space here and with all those space and expanded space of this backpack that I show you at the beginning here at the front, we have 35 liter liters backpack, which is really cool. So in case you don't need this, you can just pack it back like this. Also guys, that's not it. We have another cool addition to this small pouch or this small bag. We have those straps that I showed you at the beginning. So in case you are somewhere on vacation and uh, you don't want to carry this backpack with all the equipment, maybe you just want to carry your smaller camera or your drone, you want to go and do some aerial photography or videography, there is a really cool way to assemble this. Like you have two of this here, right? And just put it on the bag and you have a shoulder strap and you can enjoy carrying just this bag like that. Or you can just use this on the back right here, right? I'll just do with one just to show you, okay? And put another one on another side, expand it however you need it. And you can just go and carry it like this. So you can carry this back here or here or on the side, on the back, whatever. And you can just go with this. So this is really, really cool way to carry this small bag. Also guys, as I showed you at the beginning, we have this compartment right here, this pocket right here, and we don't need to open the back of the bag. We can just put this pouch with the drone or whatever you're carrying it like here, this way, and we are ready to go. So for now, I really like this bag. I had a week or so to test it. It's really nice and durable. I don't know how it will be after a few months of using it. I will see that, but for now, I really like it. If you want to know more about the bag, check out the link down there in the description and you have all the information there, how to purchase it, etc. Actually, this is the PGI Tech Kickstarter project, so you can just go there and see everything else. Also, guys, if you want to ask me some questions about this bag, you can do that by leaving the comment question down there in the comment section below. I will be glad to answer it. Have fun experiment and see you guys in my next fun episode. Bye bye. Or maybe like, like this, maybe like rain, rain hat, rain hat to be like silly looking best photographer in the world.